Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve question number 10th of exercise 6.2. The question says the diagonals of a quadrilateral ABCD intersect each other at the point O such that the ratio between AO and BO is equal to the ratio between CO and DO. You have to show that that ABCD is a trapezium. Here, ABCD is a quadrilateral means a four-sided closed figure. You have to prove that this is a trapezium. And a quadrilateral having two sides parallel to each other is known as a trapezium. Means you have to prove that this AB is parallel to this DC. And if these two lines are parallel, then in that case, this quadrilateral is considered a trapezium. Now, to prove that these two lines are parallel, we are given the ratios. And if I cross multiply this, this is AO upon... CO can be written here and this is BO upon DO. So this is, this can be written as this, though the, I can say that this is given to you. Now to prove these two lines as parallel, we again have to construct a parallel line. Again consider this as OL and consider that this line is parallel to this line. So we have to do a construction here. We are drawing OL parallel to DC. Now, we have drawn this and in triangle, in triangle this is BDC. In this triangle, BDC. And in triangle BDC, if this line is parallel to this third line, so it must cut the other two lines in equal ratios. This is because of basic proportionality theorem. In basic proportionality theorem, if I draw a parallel line to this third line, it must cut the other two lines in equal ratios. Here, this line is parallel to this line. So it must cut the other two lines in equal ratios. So here, in triangle this, OL is parallel to DC. This we have constructed. So obviously the ratio between BO and OD must be equals to BL and LC. So these ratios must be equal. This is because of basic proportionality theorem and this is our first equation. Now this was given to you. So I can consider this as first equation and this as second equation. Now. Comparing these two equations here, BO and DO, and here also this is BO and DO. So if one side is equal, so other side must also be equal. So comparing equation first and second, comparing equation first and second, I can conclude that that the ratio between AO and CO must be equal to here BL upon LC. So the ratio between this and this must also be equal because these two ratios are equal. So this can be concluded here that the ratio between AO and CO must be equal to the ratio between BL and CL. Now in triangle ABC, this is A, this is B and this is C. This triangle ACB. Or you can say triangle ABC here. This is the line OL. And we have concluded that the ratio between AO and CO is equal to BL and LC. Means the ratio between this AO and OC is equal to the ratio between BL and LC. If I reciprocal this, what comes out is the ratio between CO. This is CO and AO is equal to the ratio between CL and LB. So if I reciprocal this, this is, this can be concluded and if the ratio between this and this is equal to the ratio between this and this means this line must be parallel to this line because the, uh, the, conver the converse of basic proportionality theorem states that in a triangle if a line cuts the other two sides in equal ratios, then it must be 
parallel to this third line. So here, because the ratios of this and this equals to this and this, so clearly this OL must be parallel to this AB. So we can conclude that OL must be parallel to AB. This is because of converse of basic proportionality theorem. Now, in construction, what we have done is we have drawn a parallel line OL is parallel to this DC and because this OL is again parallel to AB here from this and from this these two lines are parallel this we have constructed and these two lines are parallel we have proved it so obviously this line must also be parallel to this line so here AB must be parallel to this DC and if this AB is parallel to DC so in quadrilateral ABCD these two lines are parallel and if in any quadrilateral if the pair of two lines are parallel then that is considered a trapezium so this is how you can prove this question if you like this video please subscribe to our channel and if you have any problem in maths you can directly contact to us the phone number, the WhatsApp number and the email address is given below in the description. Thank you.